we often hear a lot of talk about um, the difference between coming first and second. Yeah, you know, it, nobody remembers the person who came second place. But would you think that there's a huge difference between coming fourth and fifth? You wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't have thought there was a difference. They're both pretty shitty places. But I discovered recently that there's actually a huge difference between fourth and fifth place. And I discovered this at all places at a Metallica concert. I went to see Metallica. Has anyone ever seen them? Did you? Oh, you see them? Where do you see them? He's from Wembley. Over there? Yeah, yeah. Where do you see him? O2. Well, oh, the O2. Oh, was that recent, on the, the, the recent run? Uh, last year. They're fantastic, aren't they? Absolutely. They are absolutely awesome. I'm curious to know if they did this when you, when you saw them. When I saw them, towards the end of the show, uh, the lead singer, he introduced the whole band, you know, one by one. He went through the four members of the band, and everybody went nuts. But right at the end, after he'd done that, he said this. He said, right, he said, but the most important the most important uh, you know, person here isn't any of us on stage. No, no, the most important uh, person, we, the, the, the people we need to thank the most is not anyone on the stage, it is you guys. You are the reason that we are here. You are the fifth member of Metallica. And the audience went fucking nuts. I went, I went nuts. I felt warm and happy inside. Did he say that when you saw him? Did he say that when you saw him? Yeah, yeah that's what he obviously says every night at the hall. That's what he does. <laughs> I felt so good inside. I, I, I am the fifth member of Metallica. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, that did not count for very much when I was trying to get past backstage security with the wrong colour wristband. <laughs> First four members of Metallica, they get to go home after the gig on the tour bus. Fifth member of Metallica, night bus. <laughs> the fourth member of Metallica, he's got a mansion in Beverly Hills. Fifth member of Metallica, he has got a one bedroom flat in Watford. <laughs> but I got thinking about this and I thought, well, actually, there are a lot of similarities between fourth and fifth. When you think about it, you know, you'd have thought, fourth and fifth place, you know, I'm only one place down. There are actually a lot of things that I've got in common, you know, with the four members of Metallica. I mean, the four members, the four current members, the main members, they have got all the tour dates in their diary. Yeah? I have got all the tour dates on the back of the t shirt. <laughs> Quite similar. The member Metallica, very well known, their most famous song, Master of Puppets. Yeah? I have met Orville. <laughs> now, quite recently, um, I was jogging. I, I jog now. I try and lose weight. I'm going to show you how I jog, actually. I'm not going to actually do the jog, but I was, I was wearing this thing over here. I wear a hood when I jog. I put my hoodie on. Right? That's how I jog. Right. Now, I was jogging like this, and I was in a quiet residential street. <laughs> Why was that funny? <laughs> what was funny about that? I don't know. That's how I jog. It was cold. It was cold, right? I don't want to get ill. So I'm jogging like this, and I'm on this quiet residential street, and just um, in front of me, on the other side of the street, there was a gang. There was about four kids. Uh, they were late teens, right? And, 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 and uh, one of them was singing, and I'm kind of, when I'm jogging, I'm sort of at peace. I'm in, my, I'm in my own world, and the singing was annoying me a bit. And I just sort of looked over in their direction, and then I very quickly looked away again when I realised that the whole lot of them were looking at me, right? So I, I, I ran past them, and they're still singing, and now all of them are singing. And it was at that point that I, I picked up on what they were actually singing. Right? This is what they were singing. They were going, da 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 da. It's the Rocky theme tune, and now I'm realising that this little sing song is for my benefit. I can't ignore them. I can't ignore them because I've they've, I've already made eye contact, haven't I? I can't just I can't just ignore them. So so I thought, well, what I'll do is I've got to do something. I've got to acknowledge them. So all I did is, as I'm passing them, I basically just I'm running past there there, and I just turned round right, and I went. <laughs> and, and they cheered. Not, not a nice cheer, a sarcastic cheer. The kind of sarcastic cheer that you would only hear from young English people. It was a way that kind of, right? And I carried on running, and um, and they started running with me. <laughs> So uh, now, uh, as we're running towards the centre of Watford now, there's, there's more kids coming, you know, joining us. There's, there's about a hundred by the end. So I head, I head for the town square, the town centre for the big steps, and I went, I went up the steps to the statue. Yeah? And I did, at the end of the whole situation, when the whole crowd had dispersed, I felt, I felt like the star, the star of Rocky. I did, I did. I felt just like I was, I was unconscious. <laughs> but I still had my pride. <laughs> and my boxer shorts. <laughs> so, the other thing that's happened this week is I had a urine test. 
Anybody here had a urine test recently? 24 hour urine test, right? I had to collect all my urine for 24 hours. I had to take this two litre bottle with me everywhere I went. Everywhere I went, it was clear as well. They wouldn't let it everything. They said, it's all got to go in there. I said, all of it. They said, all of it. What for General Hospital, right? Now, I took it back on Monday. It was, uh, it was Sunday. The pee was collected on the Sunday and I took it back on the, the Monday morning. Now, before I tell you what happened, I, I, I want to preface this by saying I don't get recognised very often. It's very rare that I go, it's happened about three times in my life that someone's recognised me. I, I go to the urine department at the Watford General Hospital, I put the two litres of urine on the counter and the receptionist looks at me and says, uh, oh, it's um, John Saunders, I, 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 I recognise you, um, you're, you, you're, um, you're, you're uh, from the Comedy Bunker, aren't you? I said, hello. <laughs> and I was feeling a little bit awkward. And she then said, oh, you must get this all the time. <laughs> I said, no, not really. And she said, oh, you're so funny. <laughs> I said, no, not really. <laughs> and then she said, so who's on this week? I said, oh, it's, um, it's Jeff Green and uh, Imran Youssef. Uh, you know, they're, they're very funny. She said, oh, I, I might come along to that. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah I, might, I might come along to that. And um, so uh, I said, well, if you do, um, do me a favor. Could you bring my test results? <laughs> anyway, her name's Laura and she's here tonight. She's asked me not to point her out, but I know she's here somewhere. And she's brought me test results. And I thought, what I do is, is I haven't looked at them yet. I thought I'd read out the test results live on stage and then that's why we'll share together the results of my, of my urine test. In fact, would someone else like to read them out for me? Or should I just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just read them out, I'll just read them out myself. So this is the, uh, the big moment of the uh, urine test. Okay. Uh, Results of urine test for Joel Sanders. Joel Sanders tested negative. He is not the fifth member of Metallica. 